Hey YouTube, today's my birthday, May 12th. Today's not the time I'm recording this birthday, is technically my birthday, but I bet you do this video early while I still have time. So let me start off with this. Um, I got Tiger and Bunny on um, set two. I remember watching this anime a while back. It was a fun superhero show. So I decided to get this two. I already have um, set one. So this is one of the few animes I have the complete collection for. It's a really good show. And you should watch it if you haven't already. Thing in Robot 2. This is the first visual novel I've ever played. Not the first one I've seen a walkthrough of, though. It's fun. If you haven't heard of it, pretty much a group of high school students with a bunch of special talents get trapped on this island and they're forced to kill each other in order to leave and you have to figure out how they die and solve these annoying mini games and stuff it's a pretty fun game but all the but all the good characters end up dying that's so unfair all your favorite characters will probably die in this i haven't finished it yet but it's a lot of fun when those annoying mini games don't take place and yeah be careful because you know your favorite characters are probably going to die in this uh, Persona 4 Golden. Now, I haven't actually played this game yet, but one of my friends is a big fan of this game. It's kind of like um, an RPG, so I decided to finally give it a chance. I've been, played the, I've been putting this game off for a long time, so I decided to just finally give it a chance. It's probably going to be good. I kind of like the concept of it, how these have these personas. It's kind of like the stands from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so that's the main thing that put me towards the series be fun i remember playing persona arena and that was a really fun game uh got ninja storm 4 now i'm no longer a naruto fan for reasons but i had to get this game because this gameplay is so amazing this game is addicting i love this game so much i don't think i'm ever going to get tired of this game the boss battles in the story mode were amazing they even had a cool opening theme song that was great i really love storm 4 you need to get this game it's a great game even the series is trash Kizumona got three. Now, I've been wanting to read night light novels for a while now, but a lot of them are so generic and follow the same cliches. That I'm kind of been put off by them. So, there's only a few light novels that I'm interested in. To be honest, the only not the novels I plan on reading at this current moment are the Monogatari series and Index. Like, these are the only two white novel series I'm really interested in because everything else is generic. They follow the same cliches, and I might explain more of this in another video. But anyway, I feel like this is going to be a good series. I'm not a big fan of romance, and this is the whole series is big on romance and all. But it's a comedy too, and it's kind of interesting, I'm not going to lie. And there was a movie about this release back in January in Japan. I don't think they released a DVD version yet because I'm still waiting for a subtitle version to pop up on Kiss Anime. So I'm just going to keep waiting. This is going to be the first movie when it finally gets translated. It's going to be the first movie I've read the book for. So it's going to be cool. I haven't gotten that far in the book, but so far it remains interesting. We got Surrey Magical Index Season 2, Set 1. I already have the whole first season, and it was pretty cool. I like how the series combines science and magic, and how the main character, Toma, he has the worst yet best ability. His ability is cancel out everything, even his good luck, so his whole life is pretty sucky. Yeah. Kind of lame for him, and I heard that in light novels, all the characters get really OP and stuff, so it's going to be an interesting series. It's really nice. And last thing is Ultimo. Now, Ultimo is made by the creator of Shaman King, Hiroyuki Take. And I really love Shaman King. And I love the creator. So I decided to part, support his work any way I can. You might have noticed that you see Stan Lee here. He does the concept while Hiroyuki Take does the story and artwork. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I, I really like all the gifts I've gotten. And I hope you like them too. Goodbye.